this tutorial I will lead you through a redesign of simple copper gringer. This is a very old machine which cover as you can see on my film does not look great. I will step by step redesign cover using Rhino and 3D print brand new cover. First thing uh, what I need to do is to disassemble Gringer and take a look and find out what needs to be taken to build new 3D model of my redesign cover. Um, basically there are only a few important things. First is a shape of top ring of Gringer mill. And the second is bottom lid fixing. These two specifications will set new uh, design cover at the right place and allow me to screw it on. Um, there are a couple of uh, things I need to apply too, like uh, cable fixing hole and mounting screws holes, but it will come during design process. Now uh, when everything is demolished I can uh, scan it to make uh, layouts for easy marking measurements on it. The best tool to measure in this case is a caliper. Uh, but remember to not measure prints, do it with the real objects. In this case this is Granger. So finally this is dimensions you need to measure. So let's start. First uh, we need to open new file and remember to when you're working with small meter meter, small objects just start with small object millimeters because you already measured in millimeters so this is kind of helpful. Uh, let's start with the shapes we measured. Uh, first we start with the the most important shapes, which is the, this shape, uh, the top uh, mill construction thing, and the bottom uh, screw fixing. So I'll do it like this. We'll start with a circle from zero point, and remember, you've got diameter and radius. Uh, it depends how you measure it. Probably you measured with diameter, so you have to mm, write type here diameter, which is 76 in this case. And then I've measured that I have to make another circle. To make that shape here. Uh, okay. I just made a kind of uh, help tool to make this circle. Then I'm going to make these two shapes I've measured before, 45 and 50. So I'm just creating 45 line and 50. Now I have to align them to this to the center of my circles. And this trick uh, actually is very helpful what I've done. Uh, I've done it uh, using move, uh, command move. So I, I, s I hold mid point and then shift and I will block the di their direction using tap and releasing them both. So I've got a you see aligning line appearing right now, which is very helpful. I'm using it very often. 
and now look I'm doing the same thing shift I'm choosing direction I can choose that one but I need that one and I'm blocking with tab and I've got now a helpful aligning line I'm going to align to the the nearest point meeting of nearest point so I have to um, I have to have a intersection selected and then if uh, my intersection will appear I'm just pressing mouse the same here and now I'm making the shape and very often I'm using right mouse button right mouse button is to call the same comment again so if you once if you choose once see the line for example you want to do it again you don't have to go to line comment you just need to press uh, right mouse button to call it again all right I'm choosing these two shapes and deleting what I don't actually need this is what I what's more most important I don't need that one so I can delete it all right I've got this first first shape this is important shape this is shape of construction thing so we are going to build a little bit more curves but this is something uh, I you don't you don't move you don't uh, actually change okay so now the second one is um, um, these two round shapes the fixing the fixing uh, bosses and all right I have to measure which is I have to find the line between the centers of these holes, which is 53 and a half. All right, and then align them again to my center, which is zero point. I can type zero point here, and the center will be actually automatically aligned to the center. And now I've got a first circle, which is six. Remember, they matter radius here, here, six, and then two and a half, which is actually a uh, diameter of a uh, screw. Again, all right. This is this is two dimensions, two very important dimensions. Now I have to move these dimensions by uh, the size. I'll do it right now. I'm doing down there. So basically, now I've got a package of uh, most important information for my project. This is something which is not changeable, and this is something which is not changeable. I have to keep these uh, two dimensions fixed.